Hey guys, this video contains an exercise on demand equation. So what is the demand equation? Demand equation is when P equals A minus B Q. P is the price, where A is the price at which demand is zero. B is calculated by taking change in price and you divide the change in quantity. And Q is the quantity demanded. So we have this scenario where this company sells the product at $5 per unit and then they get the annual demand of 50 units. When the company increased the price to $7 per unit, the demand fell to 45 units annually. We need to find out what is the demand equation. First step is to calculate the B. We know that B can be calculated by taking change in price and you divide the change in quantity. You take $7 increased price and you minus with the original price which is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now we need to calculate the change in quantity because, because the demand fell so we would do 50 units minus 45 units which gives us 5. So B is 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.04 is B. Now that we have calculated B, we can simply insert the B value 0.4 into the demand equation to compute A value. What is A value? A value is the price at which demand is 0. So let's insert B into the equation. P equals A minus B Q. P is the price. So we will insert the current price at 5. And Q is the quantity demanded. So for $5 per unit price, we have 50 units. So Q is 50. So P is 5. We need to find A minus 0.4 is a B times 50 units right here. So 5 equals A minus 20, which is 0 0.4 times 50 is 20. In order to get A, we would bring 20 on the other side of the equal sign, which will give us 20 plus 5 is 25. A equals 25. We have our demand equation. So demand equation is P equals 25 minus 0.4 Q. Last step is to check whether your equation is correct. This can be done by inserting P as 5, which is the current price. In order to compute Q, we know that for $5 per unit, you, you should get 50 units as the Q. So you would work it out. P equals A minus B Q. Insert 5 as P as 5. 5 equals 25, which is A, that we previously calculated, minus 0.4 is the B that we previously calculated, times Q. So what you would do is bring um, 0.4, on, 0.4 Q on the other side of the equal sign, and bring 5 on the right side of the equal sign. So 0.4Q equals 25 minus 5 is 20. And then in order to get Q, you would take 20 divided by 0.4 to get Q equals 50. So we know that our equation is right because we got our demand as 50 when the price was 5. Because demand is 50 when the price was 5. 